guys I'm going to quickly show you how to create a matinee to do a fly through like this um, perfect for all your environmental um, showcasing needs okay so in Unreal Engine 4 what you want to do is start by coming up to the top here and click on where it says matinee and create an add matinee um, once you've done that you can basically drag this tab up to the top so it's a bit easier to work I like working in this fashion having tabs um, so that you're matinee and basically click on camera and this will create a new camera that your matinee is going to be using so we'll just call this new camera it doesn't really matter what the name is um, as long as you know what it is um, next we want to do is change curve auto oh sorry just make sure that curve auto is on um, this will just make mean your animation curve will be a lot, a lot smoother and less juttery um, obviously most uh, most videos like this are going to be nice and smooth in the movement um, next what you want to do is right click add a new director group and that will add a nice director group there to your thing so as you can see here if I zoom out a bit this um, this little red thing here and this little green thing they are keyframes so by default it adds a keyframe in for you which is great uh, you just want to click on this green one over here and drag it and basically this is the length of your your animation curve so how long you want the video to be so we'll make it 10 seconds for now so just drag both this green and the red up to the 10 seconds and now what you want to do is if I drag this out so you can see what I'm doing you can basically now start animating your camera so if I find my camera as you can see here and then I just move my animation frame here to five seconds. This is, this is obviously per, like, up to you how far you want the animation to be. So I'll put it at five seconds, um, and then you can start moving the camera. And as you can, if you can see down here, as I move the camera, it actually moves here, so you can actually see what's seen through the camera. You can also rotate the camera, and maybe we'll move it down a bit. Um, and then once you're happy with the positioning, basically just click on the add key on your matinee. And it'll add a new little key on there. Um, another way of doing moving the camera is if you basically select so I'm gonna move up to ten seconds now. If you select this little camera icon on your matinee, it will basically go into it will go into the game. And now as you as you move it will record your movement so obviously if you want this you can do a better job than I'm doing um, try and keep your camera nice and steady and then you move through the scene and if you come back to your matinee and then add a key basically it will be animated so the first five seconds I did it moving using the transpose lines uh, the translate lines on the actual gizmo and the second five seconds I did manually with the uh, with the camera selected. So now I've got that nice little animation going through the scene. And then lastly, what I need to do is basically quick on director, quick enter, and then select new camera, quick OK. And that's the last thing I need to do. So now if I find my, if you see this blue animation curve here, that's what you want to see. It might be a different color for you. Um, and then if I just click and get rid of that, go back to my camera. So now I'm just going to select my camera and just, sorry, just put the matinee, the little clipper board thing there, and then just quick tweak some settings. So what I want to do is I want to have play on level load so that the, the animation tr gets triggered when you start the level. Um, I want to disable hood, so hide the hood, hide player, and then now. When I press play, just make sure it's quick. Yes, it'll basically play the camera animation. And now you would use um, some kind of fraps or video, uh, some kind of screen capture software to capture that. 
um, and then put it into a video editing software and then get all done. Hope that helps. See you next time.